This movie shows you how to apply materials to the barracks and add more detail using bump maps. Choose the barracks selection set, then right click in the viewport and choose Isolate Selection. Click an empty area of the viewport to deselect the barrack set. Open the Slate Material Editor and create a material for the walls as you learned in the last movie. Drag a standard material node into the active view. Double-click the node to display its parameters, then rename it Barracks Walls. From the Diffuse Color Socket, select Bitmap, then choose Planks.jpg. The barracks are instanced objects, so in the Options menu, make sure that Propagate Materials to Instances is active. When this option is on, Applying the material to one instance object applies it to all its duplicates. Click the Material node and turn on Show Map and Viewport. The barracks now show the material, but the dirt on the texture appears above each doorway instead of at the bottom of the wall. Select a wall, and from the Modify panel, apply a UVW Map modifier to change the mapping coordinates. Select the box projection type, and set the gizmo's length, width, and height to 4 meters. Now the planking texture is correctly aligned with the walls. If you render an image of the walls, the texture has a flat appearance, smoother than aged wood typically appears. You can add realism by using a bump map, which makes the surface of an object appear bumpy or irregular without changing the geometry. From the bump socket, select bitmap, then choose planks.bump.jpg. This map is simply a black and white version of the color map. Bump mapping uses luminance intensities in the map to affect the surface of the material when you render it. Light areas appear higher and dark areas appear lower. Bump mapping doesn't display in the viewports, so render the view to see a result. You can change the intensity of the bump map. When you wire a bitmap to a material, a controller node is also connected. So now there is one controller for the percentage of the diffuse map and one for the percentage of the bump map. By default, bump is set to 0.3 or 30%. You can play with that value to give the map the look you want. Set the value to 0.6 and render again. Now you can create a material for the roof. Click a node, press Ctrl A, and press Delete to clear the view. Create another standard material and name it Barracks Roof. From the Diffuse Color Socket, select Bitmap, then choose MetalPlate.jpg. Connect the material to the roof. Click the Material node, then turn on Show Map in Viewport. The corrugated plate should follow the slope of each roof, instead of being stretched lengthwise like this. Select the roof and apply a UVW Map modifier. The planar option makes sense, but is projecting towards the front of the building, not down onto the roof. Choose Y as the alignment axis. Now it's projected in the right direction, but the gizmo is rectangular. To retain the square texture's projections, make the gizmo square as well. Finally, turn on Angle Snap. Expand the UVW Map modifier, select the gizmo, and rotate it 90 degrees. Deselect the gizmo when you're done. The metal plates are oriented correctly now. And now that the roof texture is in place, you can create the bump map for it. Choose metalplate.bump.jpg and set its amount to about 0.6. Render the scene to see the result. Use the techniques you have learned to create a material for the floor.
Now that you have textured the barracks, you can use the same materials for the sentry box. The trick is to use the same materials and the same UVW map settings. Choose the sentry box selection set and isolate it. Select a barracks floor. Then control drag the UVW map entry from the modifier stack. Drop it onto the floor of the sentry box to make an instance of the modifier. Now that the sentry box floor has the correct mapping, you can apply the material. Do the same steps for the roof and walls. Remember that if material nodes are no longer in the view, you can use the eyedropper and pick a material from the scene. See part 3 to create materials for the roof of the house and the fence.